welcome you to Nassau in the Bahamas and the conclusion for one side, the penultimate game for the other in League C and Group C. Roscoe R.L. Davies Stadium playing host to the Bahamas. Welcome to the U.S. Virgin Islands. Here's the opening whistle we begin on a gorgeous afternoon in Nassau. Simple catch for Lawrence. It's Gardner Webb, CAA Division I institution. Backs that header, that flick toward goal and in! The U.S. Virgin Islands grabbed the lead away at the Bahamas. Shut out in 12 of their last 14. Six consecutive games without a goal. And that's a fairly remarkable effort to flick that in. A set piece for the Bahamas. That's an enticing ball. Nearly taken out of the air on the first time. Service whisked across and headed wide. Clore started on the right and is waned to the left, sending a dangerous cross. Ball bouncing atop the six. Saved, but now in. Sent such a dangerous ball. Lawrence came for it. And in the right place at the right time. Kenny Thompson. Rava brought down. Oh, that's a wild, excellent call for the U.S. Virgin Islands. It's Bianca Canizio. Able to bring this down and off the half volley. Drive it home in the U.S. Virgin Islands lead. Is there time for the Bahamas to get one more forward incursion? There is not. Halftime has arrived. The of the road, the CONCACAF W Gold Cup. The second half underway, which is West Florida Flames, their director of soccer. That is a very high position there. Ball across, hammers off the crossbar. Still it's there for Thompson, who angles it wide of the post. No eyes for goal whatsoever. That, however, didn't take away from the fact that that was nearly a Bahamian equalizer in Group C. That's it! For the first time since 2018, a wait of 2018 days, the U.S. Virgin Islands are victorious on the international stage.